This is a computer animated simulation video on workflow in a pediatric clinic. The learning objectives. Since the purpose of this video is to provide an educational context for both parents and health professional students, it is expected that after watching this video, the viewers will be able to identify concerns of parents and children regarding HPV vaccine and to enumerate the differences in concerns between parents and children. Recognize the cultural differences that comes into play in decision making, especially about HPV vaccine. Distinguish the effect of personal experiences of the parents in decision making on vaccinating children against HPV. Categorize the advantages of obtaining the vaccination versus its perceived disadvantages. Identify approaches to encourage parents to vaccinate their children against uh, HPV without negating their fears and concerns. This is an objective that's specifically meant for the healthcare providers students. There are four characters in this video. The patient, Maya Machad, a 12-year-old girl. The parent, Maya's mother, Mrs. Sarah Machard, the nurse practitioner, Dr. Mrs. Lynn Montgomery, friend office clerk, Mrs. Johns. Maya comes to the pediatric office for annual physical with her mother. She's a 12-year-old girl born in India, but immigrated to the United States when she was two years old. She's not very happy that she will get to go to school late today after her appointment and is to take a late note in. She's also worried about getting any shots today. Mrs. Machad is a pleasant woman of Indian origin who immigrated to the United States 10 years ago. She does not work outside of her home, but speaks English fluently and is aware of developments happening around in the world. She pays special attention to news from India and calls herself very traditional. Hello, is there anybody here? Oh, hello. Good morning. How can I help you today? Good morning. My daughter has an appointment with the nurse practitioner, Dr. Montgomery. Oh, that's good. Is it for a physical, annual physical? Yes. It has been about a year since we came here last. Thankfully, Maya has been very healthy in the past year. Excellent. Can I take a look at your insurance card and ID, please? You know, the routine things you ask for when you come to the doctor's office. This is no copay since this is a preventive visit. Uh, sure. Here you go. You don't think it's going to take too long, right? Maya has to go to school right after this. The Dr. Montgomery is with the patient right now, but she should be done soon. I would say by the time we finish with this insurance and ID verification, she should be ready to see Maya. How are you doing, Maya? I'm fine, just a little nervous. Well, Dr. McGill is an excellent nurse practitioner. She will, she will explain everything to you in detail. Are you specifically worried about something? No, well, maybe yes. I am afraid of getting shots. It's very normal for you to feel a little nervous, but Dr. McGill will explain about the examination and can answer all your questions. Um, we were to talk about this yesterday. I don't even know how many shots she may be getting today. Uh, Dr. McGill will be able to tell you the details once she takes a look at Maya's chart. And she will discuss all the details with both of you. Here you go, the insurance card and ID. Let me take you to the exam room now. I'll come out.
Maya, I'm going to check your vital signs of the rate, which we normally do. I, I think he got your weight. You can come out. We can use this room here. Is there anything else I can do for you while you wait for Dr. Montgomery? Let's go on in. No, um, we're good. Thank you. Thank you for telling me more about Dr. Montgomery. I don't feel so nervous anymore. You're most welcome. Please have a seat. By the way, here's some information about vaccines, vaccinations in general. This may give you some idea about recommended vaccines for different age groups. Oh, thank you. This is very helpful. You're welcome. Uh, Maya, would you like a copy too? No, I'll take a look at my mom's copy. Thank you, though. Okay, I'll wait up front, and if you need anything, I'll be there. So I guess we will wait for Dr. Montgomery, Maya. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous still. Oh, here she is. Hello, Maya. Hello, Mrs. Mashad. How are you doing today? I'm uh, doing very well. Thank you, Dr. Montgomery. I'm fine. Good Thank to see you. you. Uh, great to see you again. Can't believe it's almost a year since I last saw you. Maya, I suppose you have to go to school today after the appointment. Yeah. I hope I won't be too late. So, Maya, you're here today for the annual physical, right? Yeah, she is, uh, she is here for the annual physical. She's thankfully healthy. Maya, I can't believe you're a 12-year-old girl now. Time flies, hasn't it? Certainly. I feel like she was a little baby the other day. So I'll be doing a physical exam today to make sure that Maya is growing well and that there are no health concerns. Also, she's due for a couple of vaccinations today, which I'll discuss with you in detail. But before we get to that, do you have any health concerns over the past year? Anything that you'd like to discuss with me? Uh, Maya has been pretty healthy. Looks like she's getting really tall over the past year. I'm doing okay, but what are the shots that I'm getting today? I was hoping I wouldn't have any. Well, Maya, for your age, there are three vaccinations that we normally give at this time of year, four if it was the flu season, and these are the CDC recommendations. Oh, not four. Really? Four shots? No, you won't be getting four vaccines today. The Tdap vaccine is uh, one that you've already received last year. And also, you won't get a flu vaccine since it's not the flu season. Oh, well, that's better. But I still don't like shots. Okay, Maya, let's find out about the vaccines that you have to get today. Dr. Montgomery, can you please explain it to us? Sure, I'll be more than happy to discuss it with you and answer all your questions and concerns. Thank you. So Maya should actually get two vaccines today. The first one is the first dose of the meningococcal conjugate vaccine. Since that was not given last year and schools require that, I think we should do it today. She has to get a booster of the same vaccine at age 16. Okay, is, that, is it the vaccine that um, all children get? 
Most of the children do unless their parents decline it completely. Oh, I think Maya should get it. It will be especially helpful when I have to talk to the school nurse. Which one is the other vaccine? The other vaccine is the first dose of the HPV vaccine. There will be three doses in all within a six-month time frame. Wait a minute. Isn't it the one for some kind of a sexually transmitted disease? The name of the vaccine that we use here is Gardasil, and it protects against a virus called HPV. There are different types of HPVs, and the vaccine protects against four strains. And yes, HPV is predominantly a sexually transmitted disease. I thought I heard something like that before. I don't think I want Maya to have that vaccine today. Do you want to discuss it further? I can certainly answer your questions and address your concerns. Um, I don't think I want her to have it, but I guess there's no harm in finding out more. Perfect. I can actually finish the exam and Maya can get her meningococcal vaccine and we can talk further about the HPV vaccine. Okay, that sounds very good. So what questions can I uh, answer regarding the HPV vaccine today? You know, I'm concerned that vaccinating my daughter against a sexually transmitted disease is not a good idea. What if they, she thinks it's okay to have sex now since she's already vaccinated? Well, the vaccine protects girls against four strains of HPV, as I said earlier. Those strains are the most common ones out there. Two of them can cause cervical cancer and the other two genital warts. The CDC suggests to view this vaccine similar to any other vaccine and view it as a means to protect people from acquiring an infection that can be prevented. Moreover, studies have suggested that simply getting this vaccine does not encourage teenagers to be sexually active. There are multiple factors that determine a child's age of sexual debut and, and behavior. One thing that we want to remember is that this vaccine protects from a virus that can cause cancer. Oh, I didn't know that. But again, I don't think Maya will be sexually active before she gets married. I was not. That's how I was raised, and that's how I am planning to raise Maya. I completely understand your concerns, Mrs. Mashad. I would suggest to look at it this way. It's a vaccine, and it protects against viruses that can cause cancer. Hopefully, she'll never be exposed to that, but it still remains an extra protective measure. Also, think about it this way. She's received almost all other recommended vaccinations, even though we were not sure if she would ever be exposed to any of those diseases. Uh, that makes sense. So you don't think this encourages girls to have premarital sexual relationships? There were at least two research studies that I'm aware of that looked at that possibility of a change in sexual behavior following the vaccination, and both studies concluded that there's no connection between the vaccine and sexual behavior. I can give you more information on those articles today. That's encouraging. But what if my husband does not approve her receiving the vaccine? I cannot make a decision about my children all by myself, especially on something like this. You don't have to make a decision today. I certainly can give you some information to take home. And you can make an appointment if you'd like to talk to me about his concerns. I'm more than happy to do that. Okay. What about the side effects, though? The common side effects are pain and irritation at the site of injection, similar to many other vaccines. We normally ask children to rest on a table for 10 to 15 minutes right after the shot, since in rare cases it causes a little mild dizziness and discomfort. But resting for that long seems to take care of it. This is all new for me. I never thought I will have to discuss something like this with my husband or daughter. So what do I tell Maya? We'll discuss it with your husband first, and then Maya. I would highly suggest talking to her about sexual health and risky behaviors, but not necessarily in connection with the vaccine, just in general. I can do that, too, when you come back, since you're in a hurry today. Well, thank you, Dr. Montgomery. This is very helpful. I hope I will be able to convince my husband. I'm sure Maya is happy since she got only one vaccination today. My pleasure. I hope you and your husband and Maya will be able to make a decision that will benefit Maya. Oh, and before I forget it, here's the note from Maya's school and the articles that I talked about. 
I hope I answered all your questions. You sure did. That's why I like bringing Maya to you. Uh, thank you. And I think we should actually get going soon. Maya, do you want to come out of the... Yeah, very good. And um, because we have to leave soon so that we will not be late for school. Great job, Maya. It was so good to see you both again. Please don't hesitate to give me a call if you have any questions. Bye. 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 Thank <laughs> you.